Hi, welcome to Talking Tech. I'm your host, Marcus Yam, and we are here with Alienware today. Joining me is Eddie. Thanks for joining me. And on the table, we've got some exciting new product. Let's jump right into it. What yeah. do we got? Yeah, we're really excited. We announced a whole new portfolio of laptops, but also peripherals and displays. If you get a chance to check them out, they're stunning and they're amazing. Today, we're here to talk about our laptops. And um, all of our laptops have been updated. In fact, I'm really excited to introduce with you and the rest of the world, the new M16 R2. Okay. So the M16 R2 is incredible. It's incredibly efficient. It's incredibly small for the performance that it delivers. Those words um, to me, that screams Intel Core Ultra. Yeah, it really is. Um, we are so proud about this because we knew that a lot of gamers still want the performance and the power that our M18 and our, even our X16 can deliver. Um, but we knew that gamers also wanted something that offered more mobility. So we're just really excited about the engineering pro prowess that we, we've been able to execute. We've reduced the footprint of the M16 by 15%. Um, so it's actually smaller when you do the X, X by Y footprint calculation. Um, but the thermals inside have also been revamped. So the fans inside now have 94 fins and the amount of air they're able to move is, um, is fascinating because we can power an Intel uh, Core Ultra 9 processor with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 and you know, it's no slouch, right? So we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna afford up to 175 watts of total power to the system. And 140 of those can be devoted to graphics. So if you're someone that wants to experience um, high performance gameplay, but mobility is also something very important to you and you want a form factor that, um, you know, fits in most backpacks and is just much more mobile for all kinds of users, whether you're a mature gamer, whether you're a student, um, it's gonna be an amazing add to our portfolio and we're very, very excited about it. Oh, I'm, I'm excited too. I think one thing that um, the engineers at Intel did was when designing Meteor Lake or Intel Core Ultra is about the balance of performance and efficiency. And I mean, that's fantastic, but the M16, I think, you know, gives a little bit of extra. For those, like you said, who want the discrete graphics yeah. uh, to be able to handle all types of workloads, whether it's creating, whether it's gaming, uh, so they have the efficiency benefits of Intel Core Ultra, yet they have the option yep. of uh, extend a little bit with, Absolutely. Uh, with the discrete graphics. And as you say, as an Alienware design, always sleek, always great, love the RGB, but of course, you're right, for a, for a gaming laptop, and I gotta say this is, I think gamers would love it to have you know, all, all the benefits of, of Intel Core Ultra with all the design characteristics and performance of an Alienware. And there's, there's performance statements to be made across the whole system. Um, our display is a QHD 240 hertz panel. Um, it features a three millisecond response time, so it's very, very fast. Uh, and then, you know, as you, when, you, when you just feel the system, um, you feel the quality that people have come to love out of an Alienware system. We're using anodized aluminum materials around the whole machine. Um, our keyboard does come with a uh, customizable lighting like you mentioned. So if you want that gaming feel, um, you, can, you can get it. But we also have um, what's called stealth mode where we've just announced stealth mode with these laptops as well. Uh, basically with, with the flick of a key, you can have the system go into a, into, um, a more discreet look where all the lights will actually dim to a white color. And actually, it'll also be much more quiet and the fans will spin down a little bit. Okay. So that's why it's called stealth mode. So if you want to be more discreet, maybe you're in a more professional setting, you can turn on stealth mode and have that personality. Um, and then if, when you're ready to game and you're ready to play, you can you know, turn stealth mode off, go into performance mode, for example, and have all the lights come back up, have all the performance you need at your fingertips and do all the gaming and creating and stuff, just like you mentioned. What so, about in terms of uh, IO on, on this? Oh, I'm glad you, you mentioned that because earlier you were talking about gaming and creating yeah. and whatnot. Well, there are several ports all around. Um, in fact, there's even an ethernet port, a full-size ethernet port here. Okay. Um, there's even a headphone jack, so that's a global headset jack, so uh, lots of possibilities just through those two ports. On the other side, there are some Type-A 
um, USB ports as well. And then there's even a micro SD port there in, in there too. So that's actually the fastest type of uh, micro SD port that you that we, we could afford uh, to include in any laptop because it has the, the best speeds. And then in the back, um, there's tons of ports as well. So you've got a Thunderbolt port. Um, there's also a mini display port, which connects directly to the NVIDIA GPU. Um, and there's an HDMI and the power connector. Great. Yeah. So lots of IO, lots of connectivity, um, and lots of experiences to be had. And then for gamers that want just more performance, um, if they want a 16 inch form factor, the X16 is gorgeous. It's our most premium laptop. This design is, is uh, the same one from last year, um, but we've updated the internals as well. So it will also carry um, Intel Core Ultra processors. Okay. And if performance is everything you care about, the M18 R2, it's basically a desktop replacement. Um, it'll carry the 14th gen um, Intel Core i9 processors. Awesome. So that's the uh, Raptor Lake Refresh HX processor. That's right. That's and right. You mentioned performance, so that's the one um, on the Core i9 model. It's up to 5.8 gigahertz. Yep. Uh, 24 core, 32 threads. So if, you know it. Like I said, performance. If you want all a performance, this to me is like it's it's the big one. It's got all the capability. Um, I think one thing that we called out on the M16, we spent a little time on is the I/O. Yeah. Because you get all that I/O, but. I'm sure this one is you have. Oh, sure. There's tons of I.O. on all yeah. of these laptops. We take that very, very seriously. And we're, we're, we're loving this portfolio because we've got something for everyone, right? There's different kinds of gamers out there with different needs. And, and I think that with this new design um, and these beloved ones, we're going to make a lot of gamers happy. So, uh, and I'm happy to be here to talk to you about these beautiful products. Great. So one more thing. Um, when can people... Uh, buy these. Sure. So uh, actually, the M16 R2 and the M18 R2 are available for sale today. Okay. Uh, the X16 R2 um, will be coming soon. Um, we were working on a final date, uh, but it should be around in, well, coming soon. All right, Eddie, thank you so much. Um, obviously, there's more new stuff with Intel Core Ultra coming from Dell. So I'm going to talk to Amanda in a second to check that out. But thank you for your time. Sounds good. Thank you. All right, I'm excited to see this because this is the continuation, the growth of the XPS line, one of the perennial favorites of, uh, of mobile computing. Uh, joining me today is Amanda with Dell. Amanda, thanks for joining me and to walk us through what's new in XPS. Oh, thanks for having me. So we're looking at a brand new XPS lineup. We're really excited to show off the obvious changes which are in the design. So if you recall the launch of the XPS 13 Plus a couple years ago, we had sort of XPS design revolution. We've now taken that design and incorporated it into our entire family. And we're doing it with two new screen sizes and an XPS 14 and an XPS 16. The XPS 13 is gonna stick around, but we're able to drop that plus naming. So we'll just have one XPS 13. Um, and it is getting revamped um, with the new core ultra processors and things like that. But with only one XPS 13 device in the portfolio, we don't need that plus. That's very added cool. Onto the naming. Yeah, XPS 13 is one of the perennial favorites of recommended laptops. Um, both from Intel, Intel Evo laptops. And I'm so excited to see these new sizes, 14, 16. I think personally for me, I like these sizes. These are the sizes I've been waiting for. So I can't wait for kind of the walkthrough here. And of course, you know, it's it's bearing our brand new uh, Intel Core Ultra codename Meteor Lake uh, chip. So let's get into it. Right. So on the XPS 14, um, this device strikes the best balance of what I feel is performance and portability in one device. So it does feature the Intel Core Ultra 7 processors, the Intel Art graphics, as well as um, an OLED, both touch, we have an OLED touch display, and then we have an FHD non-touch display as well. I, I think the design is fantastic too. It's carried over from the XPS 13 um, and now upsized uh, screen. The screen ratio, is this still holding the 16 by 10? Yes, it's, okay. it's still the 16 10. Again, we'll have OLED, um, which is a 3.2K OLED touch panel and an FHD plus non-touch panel as well okay. on the 16 10 um, resolution. Uh, are there any other differentiating factors between um, what you get going from the 14 to 16 uh, in terms of processor or features or you know IO, that sort of thing? Yeah, moving from the 14 to the 16, you're gonna get um, more performance out of the 16. Um, you're gonna also get 10 watt quad audio versus an eight watt yeah. quad audio on the 14 inch. So on the 16 inch, you can scale the Intel Core Ultra processors up to the U9. 
Um, you're gonna get up to 80 watts of performance. That's with the U9 and NVIDIA RTX graphics uh, with the 4070. So we'll offer 40, 50, 40, 60, and 4070 on this device to get you to that total 80 watts sustained performance. On terms of the IO, the IO is the same on both. So you have the three um, Thunderbolt ports, and then you also have the audio jack, which is a big call out okay. for us. Um, and then a micro SD card slot, which is the fastest one in the industry. Very cool. So, I mean, that's, it kind of brings uh, all the things we loved uh, and still continue to love about the XPS 13, but you just get more, more performance, uh, more ports, that yeah. sort of thing, and a uh, brand new form factor. Yeah, the other thing we've done across the portfolio is we've updated our cameras to get a better visual experience. So we've updated everything to full HD cameras across the board. So, and you'll notice we have, just like the XPS 13, we have the seamless touchpad, the seamless touch function row, the top and bottom firing speakers. So you're really getting that overall immersive experience through the display and the audio as well. And of course, uh, one thing that was very important for us at Intel and Intel Evo is uh, is camera quality. It's one of the big focuses we have right. for this generation. Um, are these going to be available as as Intel Evo spec machines? Yes, these are all Intel um, certified devices Great. across the family. Yeah. Excellent. Are there any other any other callouts? Um, any some other big changes we've done um, on the venting? If you look at the bottom, historically we had that bottom venting. We've actually changed the venting to side venting. Oh, okay. So the intake cool. there is on the side, and it's going to vent out the back. And so that helps to ensure that as we increase performance and power, um, the devices stay nice and cool and quiet. I mean, I can't wait to get my hands on one. Uh, when are these going to be available? So we're looking, um, we're still finalizing dates, but we're looking to uh, turn SKUs on Dell.com and otherwise uh, towards the end of February. OK, very cool. Well, happy to see the growth of the XPS line. Um, Amanda, thank you so much for talking tech. Okay, thank you.